everybody. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. I'm here with Tara. Our elbows are touching now. They are. Yeah. But uh, now, now it's weird, so it has to stop. <laughs> That's awesome. We got uh, John. Hey. Artist extraordinaire John F. That's me. Behind East Coaster. Yep. Yeah. Long Island, son. How does that go? I just heard that on New Girl. Um, well, it. there's there's the, the Boston accent, yeah. which would be, you, you don't pronounce your R's. It's like, ah. Yeah. I, I got a dollar. I'm going to park my car, the hobby yard for a dollar, or a quarter, maybe. <laughs> and then there's uh, New York, fantastic. which is, Sim uh, it's similar. similar, but it's different at the same time. It's like, uh. Hey, how are ya? Are you doing good? You're doing good. Okay. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah, my mom, oh, my mom has family on that's Long weird. Island, and then my mom also has family in Massachusetts. And Massachusetts ones have Massachusetts accents. The ones that live in Long Island have a Long Island accent, even though they all grew up on Long Island. Well, there you and my aunt Viv lives in New Mexico. She has kind of a southwest, westish version of that accent, which is weird. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, John, how you doing? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> oh man, I can't even. I can't even with that. <laughs> so before John gets in the shot here, yes. Uh, so uh, we don't get to see nearly enough of you as we would like. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, what, what are you doing nowadays? I am. Put, a, put the fans up to speed. I sorry. I was thinking like when you said fans, like actual like glowing. Turn them up to their put maximum. The fans yeah. up to speed. <laughs> Nine out of ten is, is the speed we want. Okay, go. Um, I am a receptionist at a countertop fabricating and installation Ooh. place. Nice. Yeah. So That's I awesome. know lots about countertops. Lots more than I ever thought I would know. That's fantastic. Okay, what else? What else is going on? Um, I'm busy all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But, but do a typical day in the life of Tara. Okay, typical yeah, day. Yeah, this, this I want to hear. Typical and then, day. And then you'll be up. Uh, oh, in the life of me? Okay. <laughs> far less, uh, uh, far less busy. Talk about? A ahead. typical day is I wake up between like 7 and 7.30. Nice. I get to work no later than 9. Okay. In Orem, so it's not a long drive. I work. So it takes you about an hour to get ready? Well, an hour to get ready, make my lunch, okay. take care of the dog, right. all that stuff. Um, and I make that Griswold. Griswold, yeah. Right. Who's a terrier? A Yorkie. Yeah. Yorkshire terrier, Yorkie. yeah. Okay. With tons of energy. So yeah. typically he is the one that wakes me up. Really? Yeah. And what does that look like or um, feel like? Licking the face okay. a lot. Great. Standing on your chest, like, hey, yeah, wake up. Yeah. I need to go outside. Isn't it about time you woke up? Yeah. yeah. Where do you want me to do this thing? Yeah, exactly. You can because uh, if you don't get you up do in next? the next few minutes, it'll be on the carpet. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So then. So wait, but what do you eat for breakfast? I'm skipping I, like all the parts. Well, if I eat breakfast at home, it's typically cocoa pebbles. Wow. Hold on a second. So you hammer like a mega-sized bowl of cocoa pebbles and nothing else. That's breakfast. Sometimes. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to embellish this story <laughs> and say that she eats it with a mixing spoon, too. Because there's no clean out of, out of a gigantic and metal salad want, bowl. She, yes. <laughs> like, if you've ever she seen Forgetting like... Sarah Marshall, how Jason Siegel eats his yeah. cereal out of that gigantic bowl, that's Tara every morning. That's not real. That's not true. It's like a spicer. <laughs> but it's you totally at true. It's like, uh, it's like uh, you know, Captain generic Captain Crunch, which is awesome. I love that stuff. Uh, is um, It's like the serving size is one cup. Yeah. Who's eating one cup of that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So now you're at the um, countertop. Yeah, place. so I am there from about 9 to 6. Except sometimes we leave early on Fridays because it's Friday, which is awesome. Mm. Um, so then I go to my other job. Whoa, other job? My cleaning job. She's always Whoa. had this one. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So I typically don't get home until about 8 o'clock or so. Wow. And then... Oh, Tara, you are so hard working. I try. That's one of the things I always loved about you. Yeah. 
And then the old work ethic. Then I come home. John and I will figure out dinner. Yep. Which sometimes means cooking. Cocoa pebble casserole. <laughs> <laughs> You just you get to get the eight hey, eggs. That's eight my eggs, secret recipe. You beat in the whole thing with <laughs> cocoa pebbles, then bake at three fifty for ten minutes. Um, sometimes it involves us cooking. Sometimes it involves us getting food from the fast food drive-in or drive-through. Um, and other random times we'll go get actual like a eat sit down, food, like a, uh, like a Red Robin type yeah. of thing. Just depends on what we're feeling and how lazy we're doing. Or are, yeah. Basically, then, yeah. It really depends on laziness. Laziness is the number one factor in what we eat 90% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. We're, we're classy. It's yeah. like it's like shopping in a grocery store. <laughs> you know, you only look at like that chest level, eye level section. Yeah. Same yeah. with the fridge. I open up the fridge and it's like, it's got to be right there and in the front and then I can stick it directly into my mouth. Mm -hmm. That's what I'll eat. The bottom drawer has like generations of dead <laughs> flies in it. No, I'm kidding. It doesn't Ooh, look like that. I mean, yeah. And then, wake so up, wake up, after, wake up. after we eat, I either, well, I'm taking classes <laughs> online, like school classes. Oh, really? On top of all this? Yeah. Wow, you are busy. Yeah. Okay. Tell them what you're going to do. At first I was like, she's not that busy. Shut up. Tell them, tell them what, what I'm you're going to school for. I'm taking classes to to get my master's in healthcare administration. Woo, awesome, good for you. Yeah, so I sometimes do some schoolwork afterwards because I'm able to do some schoolwork at work if I, it's not like really busy, so mm. I get some of it done there. Um, so yeah, then I do that. Typically, I'm in bed by like 10, 30 or 11 and it just okay. starts all over again. You get to the bottom and you go back yeah. To the top of the slide. So I get like two hours, maybe a day with, with the John. And I get to the bottom and I do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. No? Okay. I don't know that one, yeah. sir. Helter Skelter by the Beatles. Oh, uh, okay. I just sing it so terribly. <laughs> I'm with you now. Please continue. So yeah, that's a typical day in my life. That's awesome. I like your glasses. You know, like this little Wait, have thing. I told you? These are the oh, buses that do. I I had when I got hired here. Really? Yeah. Okay. So Grizz yeah. ate my new pair of glasses. Okay. Like destroyed them. He's like, I don't like this. <laughs> so she yeah. so gets I them get replaced them, on warranty. Yeah, I get them replaced on warranty. Okay. And then he eats them again. Nice. So. Nice. <laughs> Definitely get a dog, everybody. Okay, go ahead. They when they're really enjoy. When, when they're that cute. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I was guess. I was very upset because he also has destroyed. Well, not totally destroyed my prescription sunglasses. So there's like bite marks on the bottom half of the lenses. <laughs> so I <laughs> so I use them when I'm driving because I don't need like the bottom half. But if I'm like doing anything else outside, I have a non-prescription. <laughs> She's got her dog chewed up non-prescription glasses for driving. Yeah. For driving glasses. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, they charge extra for this effect. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, I was pretty upset when Grizz destroyed my glasses. But I was like, I don't know if the, like, if my eye doctor will believe that my dog ate my glasses twice. <laughs> so. All right. Well, I will uh, let you guys uh, carry the show from here on out. Okay. Yeah. And uh, But uh, I did just get my hair cut. Yep. And my hair smells ridiculously awesome. <laughs> I sniff. I think Go I can smell it from it. here. Yeah, it smells. Isn't that nice? Did you get the minty, one. like, eucalyptus shampoo? I don't know thing? what she did. Oh, yes, definitely. I never don't get that. I bought a bottle of it. Equals, I always get that. <laughs> yeah, totally. I know. I, I it. They convinced me to buy my own, like, bottle of this because yeah. I was like, I love this stuff. Yeah. But you can buy it for only, like, $13. I was like, What's thirteen dollars? I normally spend like eighty-eight cents on shampoo. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Chinese manufactured industrial detergent <laughs> plant runoff that's been bottled in a plant that's like underneath the main plant yeah. where they make the good shampoo. Yeah, it's you know, so it's got like the cheap real stuff. chunks of floor sweepings. But that's written, of course, in Chinese, so you don't <laughs> understand. 
you don't understand what it is. By the way, John's back here looking at his dwarf book. It's he, your dwarf book. He looks so self-satisfied right now. Like he is like, I'm going to take these Skaven to town. How many gyrocopters you got, buddy? Zero. Oh, okay, because those are great against Skaven. Yeah. Those are dead. He hasn't gotten Run up with like six and just... I, I, yeah, I don't have any hey, of the new models yet. you should just tell them now what your, your oh, plan is. Oh, yeah. Just, I, just basically, I plan... No, no, yeah. don't, don't be an evil madman and tell me your plan. No, no, not no, for not the battle. For the game. I'm not planning on, on trying to sell my current dwarf army so I can build a brand new oh, one okay. with the nice, pretty models. Okay. So. Well, that's not a very good pitch on the channel right You're now. You're right. But, yeah, I want to buy your old dwarfs. Actually, you know, the price can always be the right. The price is going to be pretty right okay, for great. Let's talk about 4, that. 4,000 4, points of really? or so. Really? Just ready to hit the table. Yeah, okay, for good. the most well, part. it's a delight to have you here, Taylor. Yeah, you should listen in uh, while you're making you know. your army list. We have some good stories. Oh, there's some funny stories. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Fantastic. All right, away we go. And in I go. I've uh, I kept your seat warm for awesome. you, buddy. Oh. Make sure you guys are centered. And uh, you. unfortunately, I'm, I'm not going to, oh yeah, you guys are adorable. Uh, the little <laughs> sideways smile, the sideways <laughs> smile. Shannon does that too. It's, uh, it's when she's uh, being sheepish about something. All right, let's start with, uh, okay, let's go start with the Zupa story. Oh gosh, the Zupa story. Hold on, so, I'm going to start one. Okay, go. All right, so yesterday... John has. I, was Nate ever on a video? He was uh, briefly on one studio update. So I don't think John's, he oh, Okay, so John's friend Nate was here for a week, and well, almost a week, and John had to take him to the airport. So John was like, "We should get lunch. You should plan your lunch break around the same time as um, when I'm going to be driving through Orem, so that we can get lunch together." I was like, "Okay." So we get to Zupa's, which is just this delicious place. Yeah, it's almost like a way better version of like Panera. Yeah, it's so good. Because they have awesome soups and salads and sandwiches. Like so good. So I get there first because it's like two this seconds This is going to segue into another story. Yeah. About others? a different Zupa's. Oh. Not as good oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, keep going. We eat at Zupa's a decent amount. They need one here in Spanish for it. So if any Zupa's people... Anyone looking to start a Zupa's franchise, the perfect place is Spanish for you. Yeah, just, just throwing that out there. Um, so I get there first. I'm waiting for, for Nate and John to to arrive. So I'm letting people like go ahead of me. So John and Nate get there, and we're waiting in line. Like the line's kind of like an amusement park line where it kind of like yeah it's like a it's leaves. like a uh a, a, a z-shaped cube yeah so next to us on like the other side of like their the little the little zigzaggy the things little, the little the things the the velvet the velvet thing. yeah whatever it's called the, it's a rope if anyone got this this little <laughs> reference you win um hey Shannon um. There's like a, a family, like just like an older couple, yeah, and like a mom and dad. Yeah, they're young kids. One's in a, in a, a like a baby bassinet, carrier. not bassinet, a uh, just like car seat. Yeah, basically just a car seat slash carrier, and then the other one's. It's like five or six. Or the something. other one's kind of in his mom's arms, who's like he's like five, six year old kid. Yeah, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the like the older kid. Just like vomit. throws up, and <laughs> and the consistency and color of this vomit is like a creamy white. And yeah, I was gonna get clam chowder. It was disgusting. It, it and it went everywhere. Oh like, God. It wasn't like it, it was almost, all in her hair, down her shirt. Yeah, it was disgusting. All over the floor. She puts him down, and then and he does it again. Yeah, like, <laughs> like just, just like, like it, if if you ever spill like water on the floor, like just out, like just spill it out of the cup, it's like just liquid hitting the floor. That's what it sounded like. It was disgusting. Was yeah, I was gagging. Like I had to get out of line. Yeah. I the I smell couldn't. was pretty powerful. Oh, it was. She ran to the bathroom. Yeah, like, I didn't know where she went. I was looking around. And she was gone. It was bad. Like, it was horrible and not appetizing to see. I still got the clam chowder. Ate it. It was delicious. Yeah, he's. I couldn't have. I got like tomato soup or something that opposite. Of, tomato soup with orzo. Yeah. So yeah, it was disgusting and really gross, and it like almost got on my shoe. 
and I think I would have thrown up, and it makes me not want to have kids in the near future. Because you don't want to have to deal with that. Yeah, I don't ever. I don't want to have to carry a change of clothes in my car for myself in case my kid yeah. vomits on me. So that story is going to lead to this story where we went to Zupa's after a concert after uh, after the parachute concert. Parachute was after the parachute awesome concert. Band. Okay, you guys should totally check yeah. them out. She, re- she really likes I them. I love them. They're, they're, the yeah. highlight of that concert for me was when they played Bruce Springsteen song. Oh, yeah. You they mean it wasn't? It, good. it wasn't when the high school kids were like leaning no, on us with their bo for whatever reason because yeah. they haven't discovered deodorant yet. That was that's see fun. usually like I, I drag her to these concerts and it's like a bunch of dudes and a few girls and it just has like there's just a funk because that's just kind of how it goes. People are dancing around getting sweaty and it's just a, it's just a funk. So we're at this concert, and it's like all girls with like a spattering of guys. Same fun. Well, no, Didn't the matter. problem, Didn't matter. The Same problem with that concert is it wasn't a problem. It was fantastic. Well, there was this first band called like Camera 2 or something. Oh, yeah. with, I mean, they were okay. They were pretty good. And one of the guys was a little bit flamboyant. Very flamboyant. But it was, they were entertaining. Something wrong with that. Yeah, I mean, it, it was good. Um, I still don't, you're, you're getting to the, the problem. Okay. Yeah, so then... So that was the opening act, Camera 2. So Parachute was like the middle act, and they're my favorite band ever. And so I had to go to this concert because Parachute was going to be there. But the like the main act was some band I've never heard of. Apparently, before. they're famous for a cover of uh, of that someone that I used to know song. Yeah, they're famous for a, for a cover song. But it's a, their fans are like a wide variety of. Yeah. Ages, so there was like old people. Yeah, there were old people there, but the majority of people that I could see were like high school aged girls. Yeah, that's okay. So, that's so that same this, folk this, was still there. Though. Yeah, there was this this guy that, or like this couple that got like. Yeah, I don't know. They got it was weird. Moved. I don't know. Yeah, we couldn't tell what they were doing. That was, that was that was not a good story to tell because we had no idea what was going on. Anyway. Yeah. Anyways, so, um, so after this we concert, go to we go to Zupa's. in Draper. In Draper, it's by, by where I used to work. We've gone like, there. We've gone yeah. there a few times or a couple times, and so I go to get the clam chowder. And I don't know if, if anyone is familiar with clam chowder, but clam chowder is a cream-based soup with potatoes, so and, it's thick and clams. And there's clams, obviously. There's you know other stuff, but the main thing is that it's it's thick and there's clams. So I get this clam chowder and potatoes. I get this clam chowder, and it's like, it's not a chowder, it's cl- like clam soup. It's super thin. Except with one clam. I could find one clam in it. There, I don't think there were potatoes in it. And there was like a layer of oil on top. It was it, it was just, it didn't look appetizing, it was gross. You know what it looked like? It looked that like vomit. the throw up. Yeah, yeah, it looked like the vomit. <laughs> so, I, I, I like, I don't even want to take a bite of it, because it, it looks gross, so why do I want to eat it? You know, you eat with your eyes first. They always say that on the... Food network, which must make it right. So I bring it up, and I'm like, is "This, I, this isn't clam chowder. This, this, this has no, no properties of clam chowder." And guess what they tell him? They said, "It's a new it's recipe." It's a new recipe. Would you like something different? And no, I want actual clam chowder. So he comes back to the table. No, and I, so I eat my Caesar salad. So I'm like, no, this is stupid. So I've become. Yeah, she goes and she's become her, her grandmother slash mother. Yeah, like if I'm not satisfied with something, I try and be nice about it, but I will let people know, like this is. She not goes. Okay. So she goes and gets her money back for the soup. Yeah. So except I'm pretty sure they. They cost like my entire meal. Yeah, which was great. So that was okay, but I was still pretty bummed out. Well, because it wasn't like they were. So messi- then they were like, when they we were went to. The, the the soup as an orum. I asked them to see the clam chowder, and the, the soup lady was like, like, "Yeah, she had, she was like, what? why do you want to see this?" And if she, if she had like like she didn't say that, but she was she was kind of confused with like like why I wanted her to like push the ladle through the clam chowder real quick. Um, if she had asked, I would have said because the Zupas and Draper is stupid. Well, because it's not like they didn't they didn't say, oh, well, I'm sorry, we'll make a new batch, or, or we screwed yeah. up. They were it just was, like, it's a new recipe. We made a new recipe. Well, your new recipe sucks. Your, your new recipe is, clam, is, is lack of clam soup. Yeah, it was. As opposed to a clam chowder. Which was really disappointing because... John really, like, that's, like, the main reason that we go to Zupa's is because John really... Like, I'm from New England. 
okay? I know what clam chowder is. Don't tell me this is New England clam chowder when it's not. Yeah. I will be upset. He was Even, like, upset. Like, I could have gotten much better fantastic, like, compared to that clam chowder from a can of, like, Campbell's New England clam chowder. Like, let's, like, come on. That's, yeah. that's pathetic. That's pathetic. Yeah, so it was... Anyway. It was a thing. Let's talk about... Oh, yeah, my meat. So... I think that at some point on some Tara show in the past, I mentioned that I wanted to run a 5K. Yes. At some point. I, it could have been like a year ago for all I know. But. So my old roommate and I ran a 5K. And we, we somewhat sort of trained for it, but not really. We just kind of ran. And it was great and fun. And then a couple days later, we decided to like work out. That turned out to be a mistake because my knee ended up getting hurt badly. Well, it hurt badly. It wasn't like injured badly, but it felt like it was. So that was on a Tuesday. Wednesday, we went to one of John's concerts, which, which was four years strong. Which I don't. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the concerts where people are like pushing and like fighting. No. And like the crowd surfing. Like the concerts I typically go to are like country concerts where there's there's fights. No, I go to the Yusan Amphitheater outside. So people are standing and like I've seen fights and stuff and that's always entertaining and there's lots of beer drinking, but not typically like mosh pits. Um so we're standing there, and my knee's already like hurts a decent amount. And then the like four years strong comes up, and it turns into like a giant like I couldn't control my bodily movements. It was like the crowd, the crowd was, was and that just like ruined my knee. And I felt really bad because we were like decently close to the stage, and I made John move because like, it was like I was crying. It hurt like that bad. I don't know if John knew I had cried, but it hurt. So I made John move, and he said he wasn't mad, but I felt bad anyways. And then, so I, by that point, like, my knees hurt even more because it was, like, moving against its will. And so I decided to go to the doctor's office. And they tell me I have a torn meniscus. But they, they said they didn't really know. They said they, they thought, like, based on all of the... It was just a primary the, care doctor, like, they didn't... Yeah, based on all of the, um, like, the, the tests they did, which they didn't, like, do any, like, they didn't do x-rays, they didn't do an MRI, it was just me moving my knee, basically. They are like, oh, I think you have a torn <laughs> meniscus. And I was like, great, like, torn meniscus usually means surgery. Expensive. Or at least an MRI or something. Yeah. So I was like, this is fantastic. So I, they gave me a knee brace, and they said, wear this, and if it's still bothering you in a week, then come back. So that weekend, John's dad was in town. Mm -hmm. And John's dad is awesome. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's out here skiing. And he brought his friend uh, Mike with him. Who happens to be a physical therapist. Yeah, so we go up to Park City. With, where, yeah, where they're staying. Well, John's dad calls and is like, hey, Mike, do you mind working while you're on vacation? Yeah, I know, working vacation. <laughs> no, um, fine. Which, Mike's really awesome, too. Yeah. He, he's like, yeah, I'll check out her knee. Yeah, the whole thing only took, what, 10, 15 Oh, yeah, basically, I just had to lay on the floor, and he did the same thing. But he, knowing what he was, like, looking at, was able to give a more accurate diagnosis than a primary care yeah, doctor. Which he said it was a patella strain. Yeah, so basically my thighs are weak. Well, the one thigh was weak and couldn't, like, like normally your knee moves in your kneecap, like, up and down, and, like, moves Mine was in, like, this. Hers was going side to side because, well, the, like, 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 the tendons and, and the quad were, just, like, strong enough to keep it going where it was supposed to, so it was kind of going wherever, which is causing discomfort. Yeah. So basically, it went from, oh, you probably need an MRI and possibly so surgery to do 50 to 100 of each of these three yeah, uh, leg really exercises exercise. every day, and it should be good in a couple weeks. Yeah, so much, much, preferred. much preferred diagnosis. 
Um, so it's feeling better. Like, it hurts a little bit now, but... I mean, that was, like, a week and a half. No, it was, like, two weeks ago. Yeah, but you haven't been doing this little, like, exercises. You did them once, that I recall. Maybe. That's you, all. And you stopped, like, halfway through. It's really exhausting doing 150 to 300 leg lifts. And it's really no hard. No one said it was going to be easy, Tara. They just said, said they it had would to be do worth it. it. <laughs> they said it would help. They, and it's even more difficult when you have a dog in your yeah. way. So he's like hopping on your back, being like, what are you doing? How's it going? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Oh yeah, we're driving out of Macy's and there's uh, a girl sitting on the back of a pickup truck with a puppy in her hand and then like a couple more in the cage with a sign that says free puppies. But you know, at the place we're living, I, I don't I don't know if we could have any more pets, but I wouldn't want to have any more pets, especially if it's a brand new puppy that's not house trained and that we need to get all the for and stuff. Like no way. They were really cute. They were, but can't can't couldn't couldn't be a thing at that, at that moment. Unfortunately. Sean, for these for soon. soon. Oh, these were supposed to go in Big Boss's package. And little Grit. Kimmer oh, yeah, or Kimmer Jimba. or Jemba. Crap. That's Can a I mix between Jimmer and Kemba. Jimmer yeah. Fredette and Kimba Walker. They were like the, the college uh, basketball stars. Like of, a couple of years. Of, uh, yeah. 2010? 2010, 2011, something like that. Where uh, Kemba Walker's clearly the, the, the superior one. Jimmer Fredette is clearly. Yeah, uh, Kemba won the national championship. Jimmer won all of the national player of the year awards. All of them. But he didn't win the national championship. But it's okay because they both play for crappy teams now. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Jim, Jimmer just got traded to the Bulls. Bulls are there, Crows. Bulls aren't terrible. I don't know. I was talking to my boss and I don't know if Derrick Rose is like injured or something. He got injured. I know. Sometime last season, maybe he's maybe he's still not in. But so so there was there's so we have the the Jim or Kimba debate, and tonight I think the UConn oh, yeah. women's the, yeah. team plays, plays BYU. the BYU women's team. But the UConn women's team is just going to kick their butt. The UConn women's team is just ridiculous. They they have been for a while. Like uh, uh, of the last ten to. Uh, Twelve years, I think they've had winning, winning seasons and very good runs in the NCAA tournament. If not winning it, uh, maybe eight, eight or nine of those years. So today is UConn versus BYU round two, where UConn is probably going to win. But if, if BYU were to win, I'd be thoroughly surprised. Yeah, so that's fun. Sean and I like our little friendly. Um, Rivalries. Rivalries. As long as she's not a Red Sox fan, I can deal with pretty much any other rivalry. No, I'm, I'm not a Red Sox fan. You weren't even a baseball fan, really, until uh, yeah. until last year. Yeah, where we went to the Rockies. But now you're a Yankees fan. See? Boom, Yankees fan. <laughs> we should get me a Yankees hat that fits. This one totally fits. What are you talking about? <laughs> what else is um, there to say? I don't know. Is there anything else to say? I don't know. I'm always going to talk about the pups. Yeah, but there he is. It's probably boring. Maybe he hasn't really done anything. Not really. Yeah. I don't know. I think, uh, I think you're, that might be the most up-to-date news on what's been going on in Terrell Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I already told you guys what I do every day. Pretty much the same. Yeah. Shouldn't have time for escapades anymore. Not really. I mean, my. Oh, we took my little brother's mini golf oh, yeah. game this past weekend. That was fun. Um, what did we do? Oh, I, we went to Tacano's. I have your Skaven book downstairs if you needed that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me, let me go get that okay. for him. So, my grandpa's birthday was on Sunday, and we went to Tacano's for dinner on Saturday, which is a fantastic place. 
Tifanos. Um, we were there with like, it was my grandparents, John, me, my two little sisters, one of their boyfriends, my mom, my stepdad, and my two little brothers. So there was 11 of us. And I made a reservation for 5.30 on Saturday. And apparently at the typical, like, when I think of reservations, I think, oh, the entire party gets there, you go and sit down immediately. Tucano's reservations are a little bit different, apparently, because it's, oh, your entire party's here, we'll get you on the list and seat you whenever we can. Or at least that's what it seemed like. Yeah. We waited, what, a good it was like 15, 15 20 minutes, minutes before we could, uh... Yeah. Which, I mean, once we got seated, like, it was really, really good stuff. They, they were having, like, their seafood... Oh, yeah. Their seafood... Festival. Friend festival. They don't have a salad bar there. They have a salad festival. Yeah, it's a salad festival. So, um, yeah, it was basically like... Like, they had, uh... What was, what was it? They had mango cod, which they usually have. They had rosemary's... They had rosemary, salmon, salmon, and, uh... Something chili, uh, tilapia. Tilapia, yeah. And that was all really good. And they had their normal stuff, their roasted pineapple. Oh my gosh. So good. Um, it's not a place you can go, like, all the time because it's, like, 25 bucks a plate. But Yeah, but, it, I mean, you get, it's, you it's, get it's, all the meat. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. But, so after that, we, me and my little, uh, us, John and I and my little brothers and my little sisters went mini golfing where I got two holes See, it's in funny because she says little brothers and little sisters. Her sisters are like a few years younger than her. Her brothers are like 10 to yeah. 12 years younger than my, her. My brothers were born when I was in high school. So they're like 11 and 9, I think is how old they are these days. Yeah, um, yeah I got two holes in one. Two holes in one, yeah. One of them... I, two hole in ones. I, two, think would be I got two of that. Two of those. Thing. Yeah. The, it was like the first. It was like the first hole. I was like, yeah, I can do this, and I did it. And then there's this hole, and it was an indoor like black light course. Oh yeah, this hole was stupid. And it was funny because I was like, oh, the last time I played this course, I got a hole in one, and they were all like, you can't do it again. Basically, the way this one goes is like you shoot up. up Pretty large up and hill, around. And then it goes down around a corner, and the the hole is in the middle of the down slope on the other side. And they have and two have, like, like two shoots. little shoots, so if you can just get it into that V, it'll go in the hole. <laughs> and I did that. Good job. Some arcade games. Yeah, did some of that. My little brother totally beat me at air hockey. Yeah. It was funny because he won like seven to one or something. Shut up. Seven to two. But like it was like six to two or six to one. And I was like, want me to step in? I can bring this back. I can win it. I said no. She said no, and then she lost on like the next the next uh volley. Yeah. But you know what? She had fun. I did. And that's what counts. Yeah. So that was so all about winning. I mean, you don't usually don't want to let the the youngsters win. She didn't let him win. No, I was she I tried. was legitimately. She tried. And it just I was. Didn't work le out. But half of the time, like he would like hit the the puck, yeah. and I would like go she to would block score on it. Herself. I would go to block it and like scoot it in. So yeah, I'm not a good air hockey. She was player. playing too far down. You could, you gotta play it up, cause it. It like lowers the angles, like the same reason goalies in like soccer or whatever start further up, or uh -huh. will or will possibly come out after the after the attacker. Did you say so? Well, it just like it lowers the angles that you can put it in. Like it goes from being like this to being like this kind of thing. So. Um. Yeah. 
Oh, and we we played some skee ball. Yeah, there was skee ball. There was hoop shooting. There was other random games of chance to win tickets. Yeah. That about sums that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Oh, and then on Sunday we played Trivial Pursuit, and so that's like my family oh, thing. <laughs> We always play Trivial Pursuit, and we have so many people that we typically play on teams. Typically, like, it's, like, my, my grandma, my grandpa, my mom and my stepdad, me and John, and then if my sisters have, like, their boyfriends there, they play, and typically my little brother and, like, my other sister, one of my sisters is dating someone that's, like, in Seattle right now for the Navy, so typically they're partnered up, but since Nate had come into town... John and Nate were on a team, and me and my little sister were on a team. And there was some question. It was how long is the longest, was the longest game of Monopoly played for? Nine days, 27 days, or 70 days? So that was the question. And John and I have recently started watching Pawn Stars, which is a fantastic show. I love it. And at the, like... Like, like at commercial breaks, they'll have like random like trivia questions, and we've realized that like they always have like some oddly specific. Yeah, number. there'll be like two arbitrary numbers, and then this weird specific number that's like nine times out of ten the answer. So it's actually there might we might have a one hundred percent success rate on guessing the oddly specific answer yeah. if it's if it's like numbers based. So the so. They ask the question. And my instant gut is to say 70. Because if you wanted just an arbitrary high number, especially with 9 and 27, you would have said like 50. So 70 is like too high to be like an arbitrary high number. So that made sense. So I, I'm like, I've talked about it with Dana. I'm like, I think it's 70. We should go with 70. And I'm like, I'm, I'm on the, about to basically <laughs> say 70. And Tara, Tara does the thing that she's not supposed to. <laughs> like, her sister and little brother are the ones reading the question. So she's, like, looking at the answer. Which is <laughs> totally not cool, by the way. Um, and so she sees the answer. She's like, John, you should go. You should, you should do what you do on Pawn Stars. Go with the oddly specific one. So I'm like, oh, you know, that's a good point. You know, <laughs> 27, that's, like, weirdly specific. Like, why would it be 27? Why not, you know, 25. something else? Why not 25? Well, it ended up being 70 after, I guess, 27, and I was not happy. He was not happy. She trolled me super hard. But it was I really fun. <laughs> no, it was, it was not fun. It was because totally, we had it was totally about... dirty playing. You, you're a dirty Trivial Pursuit player. Congratulations. I hope, I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, well, because typically, like, and we had talked about, like, my sister Ashley and Nate being on a team and me and John being on a team. But we're like, no, like, let's let's split it up. So since... We won, by the way. Yeah, they did. We still won, even with her taking a wedge away from me. You took that wedge from me. Because oh, we, we don't play, like, the normal Trivial Pursuit. We play, like, a new version. Yeah, it's called Bet You Know It. There's, like, a betting so, aspect yeah, to it. Yeah, betting. It's... But every question is a wedge question as opposed yeah. to... Like, you have to land on, like, a certain square, like, in the normal ones. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah, it was a dirty trick, but it was really funny, and I, I enjoyed it. Um, because the last time that we played Trivial Pursuit, John and I were on a team, and my stupid family, okay, not stupid family, I love my family, but they were really mean to us, because it was, like, the last question of the night. They all wanted to be done playing... And they're like, Tara and John are the last, the last team to go. No, no, we we bought. Oh our, yeah, we, we bought, bought our, our. We we like the, they. You get these chips, and for fifteen a piece, you can buy your final topic, topic and and category. category. So we got a, a question that was, what did they, what did they make corsets out of in like the eighteen hundreds? Yeah. And we described to. No, a it team. was what part of the whale. Oh yeah, what part of the whale was the corset made? We described to a that team. Mean. Exactly. Yeah. We didn't know that word, but we said it was it was the the the, the, like, the stuff in the whale's mouth that filters the water to so that they get their food. Or yeah, so we're like And they didn't get they would they didn't want but to But it, it wasn't us. it wasn't like, "Oh, they we're going to keep playing." It was, "No, this is the yeah, last." Yeah, no, you guys just don't win. There that's how it ended. So we you won. guys just don't win. Oh, okay. 
So we won. Because we could, we didn't know the term Bailey, but we could dictionary describe it. We could dictionary give the, the definition. Like my family is very serious about their trivial pers- pursuit. Oh, like red. John's like looking at red. the. It's pretty. John's looking at the nude workbook I right am. now. There's some pretty, pretty stuff in it. I like yeah. the blue too. Yeah. It's like a turquoise I blue. S- did I, I'm painting my house. Like yeah, you did. You did some stuff last time. night. Yeah, she did some steps on them last night. Got the gold all done. Started working on the silver. I'm not a good painter. They look fine. She's overly critical of herself. Yeah, no. yeah. I, they're not good. If I'm gonna paint an army, it has to be perfect. Are you a professional painter? No, but I'm dating a professional painter. Yeah. I'm not the one painting your army. You are. I've tried to get him to paint my army. I have no problem helping you paint your army when I don't have so much to do. But I'm not going to paint it all for you. Isn't that mean of him? Totally. That's mean of me. I'm sorry. I'm so mean to you. Yeah. He says that watching me paint it myself brings him joy or something like that. It does. It makes me happy. At the rate I'm going, I'll have a painted high elf army in like 2050. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. <laughs> I just, I just don't have time. See, it's it's that kind of of uh, a person with that sort of schedule that needs to contract certain services uh, from certain places, known as blue table painting. <laughs> You're making making a plug for blue table painting on the Terra show. <laughs> Or it's the t- that type of person that dates a painter at Blue Table Painting, and then she comes home from work, and the army's painted. Well, you'd have to assemble it all for me to do that. I assembled a big chunk of it. All right, Joan, I got my army list going. All right, all right. Well, there second time for the game. game. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's time yeah. for the Well, game. guys, what an absolute delight to have you for the show. Yeah. Anybody that needs to, you know, unwind their mind can uh, can definitely tune into the Terror Show. It's I think there's a playlist somewhere of all the Terror oh, yeah. Shows. Yep, yep. Listen to Terror. They, uh, they actually, they, they use it at the mental hospital to yeah. calm down the patients. They did a study and the, the voice of oh. Terra can help you lose weight and also... Uh, except, except for Terra herself. Tara's voice does not work to lose weight on Tara. I wasn't done with the benefits. Cure cancer, <laughs> cure AIDS, cure the common cold. Basically, what? John's just like just the to healthy. Basically it uh, soothes like sick dolphins exactly. and killer yeah. whales out at yeah. SeaWorld. Yeah. They play See, it in the I have tanks. to go to SeaWorld. Oh my gosh, I watched that Blackfish documentary. <laughs> Round two. Don't worry, there's still like 30 minutes left on this. No, I have to share this. I, have you ever watched that Blackfish documentary, Sean? Uh, I've seen it. I started to watch it, but I couldn't do it. It was... So sad. Yeah, because, okay, my favorite animal in the entire world is dolphins and, and killer whales. Like, she loves, like, she, like she's always like, I, I want to go to the aquarium. I love, like, seeing the stuff. I want to go see, I want to go to SeaWorld. And she watches this documentary. And now I'm and like, it's ruined. well, because these, like, poor, uh, large, very large animals are, like, kept in these really small pools. And, and this is your political message for it's not political, it's sad. So, like, there's been, I mean, everyone's, like, heard on the news about these, like, killer whale accidents that, or attacks that happen at SeaWorld, and it's really sad, and they're like, oh, it's the killer whale, oh, it's this, it's this, but these poor creatures are, like, kept in captivity, and they're caught from the wild. Both guys in the room have literally just wandered off. And started doing something different. Hold on, let me center the camera on you. Okay, go ahead. So, go ahead. It, it makes, <laughs> like, I really, I don't know how to feel about it anymore because I really have liked, like, I've always loved SeaWorld, but. <laughs> Are you done yet? <laughs> but then I watched this documentary about how the animals are treated in SeaWorld, and I'm like, oh no, like, I'm torn because I love SeaWorld, but they treat the animals not the best there. 
and it's a really sad dilemma because I love SeaWorld, but yeah, so it was sad. It's a good movie. It's like a good documentary, but it's, it's sad. And that's that. I'm gonna end on that note. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I just I couldn't I couldn't pull it off. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, thanks a lot, Tara. It's Bye. great to have you.